Hello and welcome back guys to an episode of Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4 as Communist France and oh my god it is beautiful. We are successfully able, well we were successfully able to win the war against the Allies. They said it couldn't be done. However, we still have two big powers that we have not yet fought. However, I am actually not particularly afraid of either of them. The first one we're going to have to fight is none other than... the United States itself. Now that is going to be a problem, but we're not going to deal with that right now. Hold on. Give me, I need one second. Yeah, whatever I don't, if I ever like open up Windows 10 like tabs thing, but I click on the, f the, um, the window for Hearts of Iron 4, the hotkeys don't work anymore. So our amazing Navy, which honestly did far better than I ever thought it would, managed to go toe to toe with the British fleet, and we won. I mean, have you ever seen anything more beautiful? So, now that our fleets have done far better than they ever hoped to, we're going to let them all repair. Really, can I switch you in half again and put half of you here in... Cherbourg. Yes. Yes. So, what now, you may ask? Well, this is simple. It is, we need to head down here into Asia. Now, we're going to take a lot of the, we're going to redo a lot of these div, um, army locations, and we're going to, oh, I forgot we do have this allied force. This allied British Raj now. So I'm gonna put you guys here. Because you can cover it effectively, and then you guys will go on this side. So the Soviet Union has taken quite a few of the nations I was hoping that we could puppet. But it's not the end of the world. Um and I'll just set you guys to be a garrison right here. Oh, and Dugal. Well, you guys are just going to be under. Yeah, different field marshal to Gaul. You too. And right there. Fantastic. You know what? Did I save from last time? I do not think I did. So what we're gonna, let's talk about what we're going to do. First, I'm going to justify on Japan. We no longer have a... Um, no one has a treaty with Japan... Which means that we can just go justify them and fight them when the time comes. So I don't... It's actually, I'm actually going to be really confused on how this is going to work. Well, I guess puppeting nationalist China may be better than communist China's tree. Because I guess it's more powerful. Maybe? I really don't know how this is going to work. It really shouldn't work. You know, we're probably going to go to service by requirement while we're at it. Yeah, we're going to keep you building all oil. Because even though we'll have plenty, the United States is still probably going to be able to punch out our Navy. Because we do not even have a Navy that's even close to being able to compete with them. Although we actually don't need to because we do have Canada as an allied place to launch invasions from. See, I'm still kind of annoyed that Afghanistan still hasn't joined the common turn. Oman is improving relations with Afghanistan. Oh yeah, because this is an actual Yugoslavia, we have a generic communist leader for him. How big are some of our allied... 32 allied nations armies... 24. Ooh, 64. They're starting to get there. And we have glorious, the glorious French commune. Even the British are starting to rebuild an army. They still have most of their navy. How did that work? I guess we never destroyed it. 
get advanced computing machine. Let's see, what day will we be ready? On the 21st. You always get anti infantry tank too. Yeah, I didn't figure I could plant these anywhere. You know, we can probably start making new tanks now that I think about it. Oh, wait, these are the infantry divisions. You know, I'll just put you guys over here with the Gaul. And we're actually going to drop how fast we make these. And I am do have probably, probably have plenty of support equipment. Oh um, yeah, you guys need engineer companies. I mean, it's kind of almost impossible to see how we our navy did against the British. We still have most of it, but you know what? That's a win in my book. And I think it should be in yours, too. Democratic people... Yay! It paid off. You know, we will bring the revolution if you are willing to embrace it. And if you're not, well, then we'll bring the revolution anyway, but this time with guns. Come on, just to strike at the Soviet, <laughs> Soviet East and the Soviet Malaya. I, I just think it's so funny. Do they have any special, they do have a special, actually it's probably just their communist flag. Yeah, it's probably just their regular communist flag. Uh, Siam shouldn't be too hard to break. Oh yeah, they'll be pretty easy. China will probably be harder. Actually, never mind, because apparently like none of the Chinese nations have any divisions. Although the Japanese have a crap ton of them. I mean, although, I mean, look at the swarm of common turn troops that have arrived. I mean, is there really any hope if there's that many of them? Maoism and they're fascist. You know, there's a political horseshoe joke in there, but I'm not smart enough to make it. Cooperative of Belgium. Wait, is this Belgium? Oh my god, Belgium is a communist in exile government down there. Oh, I know, I really should have taken Brabant. It would have made, made these borders look so nice. I mean, like that, that, no, it's just that province right there I could even live with. Man, I should have taken that. I mean, we're not even close to natural French borders because we don't have um, Brabant or that little place there in Holland, and we don't have Catalonia. Did they actually call it? That should be called Catalonia, right? Yes. Now, I know actually where Catalonia is in real life, but I didn't know what that state was called it. You know, there probably wasn't really a point in... Wait. I satellited you. Then why the hell did you get, didn't you get those states? Whatever. There really wasn't a point in liberating them. I just thought it was funny and interesting if we did. And I think you'll actually be able to release Bangladesh separately in the next update. Now let's just set all of you ready to go. When are those tank divisions going to be done? Oh, not anytime soon. Oh yeah, the supply problems in Southeast Asia are starting to come in the fruition. Oh man, it bugged out. Sometimes it'll do that where it like messes up with the scrolling. So we're getting there. How many divisions Belarus have won? You know, Czechoslovakia, you went from being a, a one-state country in 
Zawolizi to being all almost all of Czechoslovakia with a 28 division army, which for what you start out with is not that bad. All right, Sweden, you are actually like overly communist now. Iran is getting there. Jesus Christ, so 9.2 million. What, did most of the Soviet Navy get sunk by... Oh, you know what? A lot of, this, of the Russian... Uh, not Russian. British Navy was probably here in the Mediterranean, now that I think about it. That's probably why a lot of the Soviet fleet got sunk and not mine. A lot of the Soviet fleet was probably down here in Crimea, in the Black Sea. You know, those are troops that come from... Oh, yeah, I forgot they get uh, Japan in control of their troops. How many troops does the Philippines have, just to ask? 27 to 35, that's quite a bit. Oh, yeah, the Australian People's Republic. And the People's Republic of... Aotearoa. Me too, thanks. I also like how New Zealand and Australia aren't, don't even have the same puppet. Um, will I bring the revolution to the whole world? I don't know. I'm probably just going to stop once we get to the United States. I mean, Canada looks like it still has most of its army. Not that their army is big anyway. It's coming. Oh, I can just flat out go to service by requirement. Well, let's get there. I'm just checking on how big some of their uh, armies are. Especially some of the original members of the Comintern after the war with the fascists. Oh boy. Oh boy. Ooh, Japan that does have a massive fleet. Well, all you have to do is just nuke them. Oh, you know, I have like no production for the rest of my army now. There you go. More tanks. We'll go for the Sarl 42. New artillery. Oh, God. Alright, is that all of uh, the communist gang? Yeah, I wonder why the, co the country say his. This, the country has dangerous borders against the enemies. <laughs> no, you don't! Am I actually going to have to justify separately? I'm going to have to justify separately on them, I think. Great. That's just amazing. All 
Oh, there we go. That's one. You still have to call in the rest of your dudes. The reason I want to send them down is because they're probably going to get blown up. Oh, we're getting there. Wait, let me get this straight. Mongolia joined, but no one else did. Not the- oh, wait. Mongolia joined, but not the Soviet Union. Fantastic. Right, we are going to start a massive naval program. I'm going to have to justify on Union separately, I think. Great, we're getting there. Night fighting. I didn't actually think I would have to justify on them separately. No, we're just going to stop this for right now. All of it. I mean, what the hell, Japan? Why would you not call them in? You're not smart enough to know that you shouldn't do that because then I don't border a large portion of your empire. Alright, there's Siam. At least my tanks can do something now. Up, oh, there we go. The Japanese have finally realized that, wait, oh shit, we're at war, aren't we? Huh? Alright, Siam, I see you. Trying with, going with that 40 chess. All right, now everyone's in the war. At least I think so. Yes, everyone, Soviet Union. Please, oh please, I hate you so much. I really do. I've never seen that modifier before. Don't not tell me it's because North Sakhalin is, I probably butchered that name, but that they don't have any troops there. I swear to God, if that's the reason. Like the Soviet Union, your men being in here would be so helpful right now. You know what, guys? This is going to be a little bit of a shorter episode, I think, but I'm going to let it end for now. So, guys, if you enjoyed the video, remember to like, favorite, subscribe, and I will see you all next time as we continue our revolution. I'll see. All right, guys, and peace.